Hello everybody! Now, if you've seen some of my older videos, you'll know that I like playing with Arduinos, and I also like making space in Meta graphics on everything I possibly can. So, um, I thought I'd have a go at a new circuit. Now, I recently discovered a IC called the Max 7219. Now, what that is, is it's an LED driver chip that makes it very easy to drive these 8x8 LED matrix displays, or some you know general arrays of LEDs, or some 7 segment displays. So, obviously, I'm going to use it for this matrix. Um, and basically, I've got the Max 7219 here underneath all this wiring. You need one electrolytic capacitor, one ceramic capacitor, and a resistor to set the PWM uh, for, to, for the current limiting so you don't overdrive the LEDs. Um, obviously, that's the Arduino here, it's just linked up by uh, you basically got the power and ground, and then you've got three pins that's all you need three pins to go to the Max chip, and then all the rest of it are the row and column drivers for the matrix. Excuse the, the messy wiring, but it does work, and it was just a quick bodge up to get it up and running. So, let's see if I can plug this in. Here we go. Oh. Nearly. We've got a loose wire there. There we go. So I've basically done a bit of code to sort of fade it in and out using the PWM brightness control of the Max 7219. You can't really see it in the camera. Let's try a little bit of paper over the top. See how that makes it easier. There you go. It's diffused a bit better now. So this is just my, my very, very first attempt at writing a program for this match. It's actually very easy to use, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that. So that's, that's, that's this is my first breadboard implementation. Now I'll just show you my second version. And this is the second version. I'll do you know again here. Now I'm using basically just these quick connect ribbon connectors with a, a pin on one side and a socket on the other side. Got this little PCB. Uh, which has got the max chip there, it's got the capacitors and resistors underneath and it's got sockets to fit one of these um, LED matrix displays uh, there's also pins on this side so you can cascade it onto other displays because you can actually address multiple of these max chips easily over those three wires so again this is a, a 5 wire connector, three wires on the digital pins and you've got ground and 5 volts now let's power this one up and have a look this is a, a red LED this time and this one's actually very bright so, uh, get the thing plugged in. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, way too bright for the camera. Look at that. Anyway, that's exactly the same thing. Let's just put the paper over the top. Makes it a bit more obvious than fading. There we go. So, now that I've actually got that working, I'm going to have a play around with a few different retro sprites and graphics and see if I can make something nice for the games room with some of these. Okay, I'll quickly share the code with you. It's fairly simple to use. So basically we include the LED control library to start with. We instantiate that. And the parameters here are the pins that are used for communication with the Max chip. The one there is the number of devices on the chain. In this case, we've just got a single device. Uh, basic variable for a delay. Now this byte array here, you might be able to make out, if you look at it carefully, those ones are the on pixels or the on LEDs as that space in their sprite so basically all you do is you draw it out as, a, as this series of 8x8 eight eight bytes uh, and then we if we move down I'll show you how that's drawn in a second um, the setup routine basically the chip starts in a power saving mode so you use this LC shutdown false command to wake it up we set the initial intensity and we clear the display now those zeros are basically uh, referencing device zero on the chain. Uh, it's this routine here, Space Invader. This draws the Space Invader. Now all it's doing is, it's a simple loop, uh, it's counting to eight and it's basically drawing one row at a time. So it's basically passing that, that byte array row one at a time until it's done all eight. Then in the main loop, we draw the Space Invaders uh, character and then we basically loop through the intensity, increasing the intensity, then we loop back down to zero. That's how we get that sort of pulsing fading effect. So there we go. I hope you all have fun coming up with some interesting uses for these Max 7219 drivers.